Hey everyone, uh, sorry I'm not at my usual set back that away. Um, I unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm a parent. It's not really unfortunate. Uh, so my kids are kind of running on like crazy. But we are going to talk about something I talked about on live stream yesterday because, yeah, my live stream was copyright claimed. Go figure. All right, so. Today, I got two things we're going to be talking about that were on yesterday's live stream. One of them, I never planned to make an individual video on, but I've had a number of people messaging me uh, and wondering what the heck's going on. They wanted to check out the video on demand. I do have YouTube uh, cutting out the portion that was copyright claimed. For those who don't know, it was Jump Up Superstar. You can't play that song on live stream. Uh, it gets copyright claimed every single time. And it wasn't just claimed this time. Uh, the video got a strike on my channel. So there's that. Uh, so I've edited out that portion, but I don't know if it's ever going to process and if the strike's going to go away because of it. So I decided we're going to make this video right now and talk about two big stories. Uh, and well, I think it's really one big story. And then the other one is sort of a, hey, I'm just letting you know what I've heard. Tinfoil hat the hell out of it. But for the first one, we don't really need a tinfoil hat it much. People have been wondering when is Nintendo finally going to unveil their plans for E3 2021? And really, it looks like they're going to be unveiling their plans in about two weeks. Jeff Grubb, who uh, works for VentureBeat, came out and responded to a thread on Reset Era where they were asking, uh, why hasn't Nintendo unveiled their plans yet? Because traditionally, Nintendo unveils their plans for E3 by now. And Jeff Grubb didn't really say why they haven't done it yet, but he did say expect it not next week, but the week after. So in two weeks, uh, we should expect Nintendo to unveil their plans for E3. In fact, I expect in two weeks everyone's going to have their plans unveiled for E3 because in three weeks is the beginning of Media Week where media gets early access to some of the announcements so they can plan their coverage. We are not part of Media Week, at least as far as I'm aware. Maybe we get lucky and get invited this year, but based on the YouTube requirements to be considered media, 100,000 subscribers, 50,000 views per video, let's just say we're not there yet. Maybe, maybe someday we can have 100K and 50K views per video on average, but that's just not what the case is at the moment. So that is awesome. At least we now know a timetable of when to expect things. But obviously I think some people are more interested Kind of, because just announcing when E3 plans will be announced isn't the same as announcing games. Uh, people want to know about that second headline I had in my live stream and the second headline in this video, and that is Breath of the Wild release timing. Now, Jeff Grubb obviously also suggested that we're still going to get it in 2021. Other people have said we're going to get it in 2021. Zippo thinks it's not coming until 2022. So there's some conflicting things between di various different uh, leakers out there. Everyone basically expects it either end of the year or early 2022. And I'm going to tell you right now, tinfoil hat the hell out of it. I can't find my tinfoil hat at the moment. Probably going to have to make a new one uh, because this is something to take with a massive... I'm not even going to say it. It's too cliche. Let's just say... I'm not saying that you should believe this, but there is a source who has contacted me behind the scenes who has given me some information on the expected release timing for Breath of the Wild 2. And this source is someone who is even closer to Nintendo than Samus Hunter. Samus Hunter doesn't work for Nintendo, but has a contact supposedly, maybe, with Nintendo. Uh, so you can imagine if I'm saying I have a source closer than that well okay use your imagination now this person as far as i can tell the credentials seem to be checking out however i want to note that this is the internet you can fake credentials so i'm not sure this person is who they claim to be but but the credentials seem kind of legit i have no idea you it is what it is i don't want to debate too much on this because honestly the proof is in the pudding the more stuff that this person tells me if more of it comes true i'll eventually do reports on it i know right i'm doing this video but this is just because we talked about it on the live stream and i know some people want to know what's going on so the release timing according to this person uh is happening between the last week of october and the first week of november so that is a two-week window here in 2021. Now, this person says Nintendo is evaluating at the moment to release the game. They're, they're, they're obviously uh, lining up the release timing with uh, Pokemon, uh, the, the, the shining uh, brilliant diamond, shining pearl, uh, you know, because they don't want those to be on top of each other. Uh, but, you know, they want a few weeks between them at least. So they're kind of working on release timing with that game. 
supposedly for the holidays and have those two games carry the holidays now. Of course, we've heard Zippo say that, oh, a new Mario Kart game is going to carry the holidays. Then we've heard people say, oh, Mario Kart, if it is being made, but it's not coming out this year. So I mean, we're getting a lot of conflicting reports, and nothing is official till Nintendo says it. And, and this is something I think I, I need to clarify even better, even more on my channel. When I talk about all these rumors and all these leaks and all this stuff, even though this is like my source on this, I'm not, I, I don't really even buy it. You know, it's one of those, hey, I threw it out there just because... You know, what if this person is right? I don't know. It wasn't worth making a video on. It was talked about in the live stream. But since the live stream is down, here we are. Uh, so, yeah, I don't believe it per se. But eh, it'll be interesting to find out if it's true. Uh, all these rumors that we've talked about, by the way, whether it's from Breath of the Wild 2, whether it's about Mario Kart 9 or possibly Nintendo Kart, uh, whether it's about the 2D Metroid game, whether it's about the Donkey Kong game, all these things, while they come from very reliable places essentially except maybe that <laughs> breath of the wild thing i just talked about um, all these things aren't confirmed switch pro i've been talking about switch pro for years none of this is announced none of this is confirmed all of it is presumed all of it is how much do we trust these people and as much as people like samus hunter seem to always be right it, hardly anyone's always right so eventually they're going to be wrong. And what are they wrong about? I have no idea. Is Takahashi Machizuki wrong about Switch Pro? I have no idea. I don't know. I want to clarify this. I don't work for Nintendo. So we can talk about news. We can talk about information. We can talk about potential leaks and rumors and all that jazz. But reality is none of it we know for certain is anything. And I try my best to only present leaks and rumors and, and stuff to you guys uh, when I do, which I know has been a lot lately. It's not the only thing I do at the channel, believe it or not, uh, but I know it's been kind of the dominating theme as we head to E3. It's the dominating theme every single year that there's an E3 because there, it's just leak and rumor season all the way up to E3. That's just normal. Uh, but the thing is, I try to only present ones that I think have a high plausibility of likely or possibly being correct. I don't like to present information that, uh, you know, your random 4chan rumors and all that, right? I like to bring to you guys stuff that comes from sources that at least have some sort of track record, which Zippo does, Jeff Grubb obviously does, uh, um, uh, Samus Hunter now does. Uh, Emily Rogers, we talked about uh, something that she put out there a little bit ago. Uh, so, yeah, we, we go with people that, that tend to have a track record. This person who contacted me does not have a track record. So that's why I didn't want to make a video. I just wanted to bring it up during a live stream conversation because I'm not going to hide anything that I hear from you guys. I just don't want to present something that isn't real. And in this case, I'm not so confident that this person is who they claim to be and that the credentials that they provided are, you know, not photoshopped or something, right? I'm, I, I'm just saying, and I'm not going to share any of this stuff and ask you guys, hey, can you check these credentials? Can you see if they're photoshopped? Because then I'm compromising them if it really is that person. Imagine that there was someone who reached out to me and really were who they claim to be. I don't want to compromise them by unveiling them to other people and then obviously, um, getting them in trouble that's a, that's the problem here uh when you're trying to verify stuff like this is that i can't involve other people in the verification process it's just me and i know this stuff can be faked so uh take it for what it is i am just doing my best here um have a great weekend this was not my video i was going to do today but the video i was going to do today uh didn't work out as planned so here you go uh have a wonderful time and i'll catch you in the next video